these are prime factors. Prime factors are the factors of the number which are prime in themselves. So not just any old factors, but prime factors, a bit like prime rib, the best kind of factors. Let's look for the prime factors of a number like 24. Here's how you do it. First, you split that number up in like a tree growing out. So it comes down here and down here. You always split it into two parts. 24 is 12 times by 2. Now, which of those two numbers are prime? 12 is not prime because 6 times by 2 is 12 and 4 times by 3, so it, it, it can be broken down. 2 cannot be broken down. Because 2 is a prime number, I'm going to circle it and I'm even, if I can, I'm going to fill it in. Let's see if this works. Yeah. So that is my prime factor. 2 is a prime number. We're not done yet though. We're now going to split 12 up into 6 times by 2. Or, just for fun, we could do 4 times by 3, because it doesn't always have to be split in half. Again, let's circle that. We're going to circle 3 though, not 4, because 3 is a prime number, but 4 is not a prime number. We need to split 4 up again until we get to only prime numbers. 4 is 2 times by 2. 2 times by 2. They are both prime numbers, as we've seen. So if we circle that and circle that, we have our last two prime factors of 24. Because they are, you have to times those prime factors together to get 24, we call, them, we call it the product of its prime factors. The way we can write 24 is 3 times by 2 times by 2 times by 2. Product means to multiply. If you do indeed multiply the prime factors of a number, you get back to the original number. There's a fancy way of writing that though. Instead of writing 3 times 2 times 2 times 2, we can actually write 3 times 2 cubed. If you're not sure what cube numbers are, you can check out another one of my videos. But basically, 2 to the power of 3 just means 2 times 2 times 2. It saves space writing that all out. So there we have it. 24 is, if I draw an arrow, 24 is 3 times by 2 to the power of 3. That's what 24 is if you break it down into its prime factors. That was so cool, we're going to do another number because I know you love prime factors. Let us do the number, hmm, let's do a hard one. Let's do 72. 72. And we're going to split it up as before. Can you think of two numbers which times together? We could split it in half, but you know what I think would be easier? Because we know from our times tables that 9 times by 8 is 72, I'm just going to split it into 9 times by 8. We could have split it into um, 36 times by 2, or 18 times by 4, but we're going to pick 9 times 8. It doesn't really matter. You get the same answer at the end anyway. Now, we're going to split those numbers up because neither of those numbers are prime. 9 isn't and 8 isn't. 9 is 3 times 3, 3 and 3, 8 is 4 times by 2, 4 times by 2. We have quite a few prime numbers, which means quite a few prime factors. 3 is a prime number, 3 again is a prime number. 4 is not a prime number, because it can be broken down even further. 2 is a prime number. So we can highlight it. Let's fill it in again. Wee dum dum dum. 
that looks lovely. We're going to break 4 down into, you guessed it, 2 times by 2. 2 times by 2. And we're going to highlight the 2's again, because they are our prime factors. They're not any old factors. 4 was a factor, 8 was a factor, 9 was a factor. But the 1's highlighted are prime factors, and that makes a big difference. There we are. Let's write that all out as a product. P remember, product means multiply. You've got 3 times 3, but instead of writing that, and then instead of writing 2 times by 2 times by 2, I'm going to write 3 squared times by 2 to the power of 3, because there are two 3's multiplied together and three 2's multiplied together. So the best way to write that in terms of 72 as a product of its prime factors is 3 squared times 2 to the power of 3. That's a brief introduction to the power and beauty of prime factors.